You're finally back to your senses. Uh, I am? You've been out for at least an hour. It felt a lot shorter this time around. Oh yeah, where's Daisy? Did she regain her memories? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but sadly, she's gone. No! For a while. Wait, she's out in the rain? And you didn't hold her back? But she might catch a cold! Oh, believe me, I tried to persuade her not to go. But she needed some time to think. So she says, I need to talk to her. You need to stay here. I highly doubt she wants to talk to you right now, anyway. Also, I don't want to deal with a sick and disappearing friend. Because you're obviously dealing with the first one. I was keeping the fire going and watching you. Now you rest. No! I will not rest until I talk to Daisy! Daisy! Where are you? Daisy? There you are! Daisy! I didn't know you felt this way about me. And about yourself. I didn't know it was such an issue. You should have told me. You're my friend and I don't want you to go away. Oh, Daisy. Please. I beg you. Don't end your game! I'm not going to end my game. Y you won't? Oh, thank heavens! No. I'm going to end yours! Ah! No! Ah! How could you wish my happiness away? I thought we were friends! I thought we were best friends! I don't know! It was a gut reaction. I didn't like how it made me feel. Please don't take your anger out at me! You don't act like that with your friends. How could you be so inconsiderate? So uncaring? So... So... Selfish? I was selfish. You finally had everything. Everybody loved you. And I resented you for that. I should have been happy you got the popularity you deserved. But I was not. I didn't think about anybody but myself. I'm so, so sorry, Daisy. I treated you terribly. You're right to be mad at me. You didn't deserve such bad treatment. I understand if you don't want to be friends anymore. I truly do. <sighs> the thing is, I don't want to stay mad at you. I simply can't imagine life without me, dear. We have been through so much together. And that's why it felt so bad when we stopped living together. I didn't hold it against you because I love you so much. I love you too, dear. You deserve so much better. I'll be a better friend from now on. Huh? How long have you been standing there? Enough to be sad about having compromised your friendship. I'm not even angry about the frying pan thing anymore. No, Rosie, don't be sad. I'm so sorry for that. Huh? Time for a group hug. I love you, ladies. I'm so glad to have you as my friends. I hope we never fight again. Man, look at us. Crying and sitting in the mud. Yeah, we might act all high and mighty with our crowns and jewels and fancy dresses. But when you think about it, that's pretty much all we are. Do you love princesses? Well, not me. I'm not a princess, remember? Okay, I put us all in deep trouble. It's time to get us out of it. A little too. I want to kick that little doppelganger's butt for everything she did. Let's go. Wait, where are you girls even going? Do you have the slightest idea what you're going to fight against? Uh, of course. She's a version of me from a place called the Reacher Dimensions. We have to ship her back to that dimension pronto. It's gonna be a bit hard to do. Why is that? Because this Reacher Dimension 
doesn't actually exist. What? Explain yourself. That's the power of the stars for you, ladies. The thing is, stars sometimes need a little interpretation to make some wishes work. When Daisy made her wish, this past version of herself and the whole ritual universe were imagined using Daisy's own version of the past. But you see, the power of the stars is very stable. Even with these new elements in the reality, there were no further side effects. This is until Peach made her camera wish. This is why the story world needs to be handled by professionals, and only in the rare case of serious crisis. Yes! I know! I shouldn't have made that stupid wish. I'd just like to know why it turned out like this. What was your wish anyway? You know what it was, dear? I wanted everything to go back to the way things were. By wishing for the new Daisy to go back to her former self. Which former self? The normal ones or the past one? Oh! Oh! This is what I mean regarding the power of the stars. Give them ambiguity, they fill in void. In this case, they gave us two daisies. Now, what are we going to do with the other one? I know! Let's use Star Rod to erase her and her minions out of existence! A swing of the wand, and poof! They're gone! What? Have you listened to anything I just said? We already have two wishes stacked on top of each other. And you want to add a third one? This could tear the fabric of reality itself. But reality should be made of a strong material. Helena, no. If we want to solve this problem, we we'll have to deal with it hands on. We have to destroy Rachel Daisy. Destroy? Yes. She's not real, remember? It's not like we're ending the game of a real person. Exactly. And with no ethical implications, we won't hold back from obliterating her. Right, Daisy? We're right. We won't. Thank you.